This is Tonson Art Toy 6A, based on Trunks' appearance in the 1993 Dragon Ball Z movie, Bojack Unbound. Let's see how he fares. He has 7 faceplates, 4 of them are base forms, 3 are Super Saiyan. Then obviously 2 heads to go with the faces. 6 pairs of hands, same mold as in their previous trunks, plus a new flower holding right hand. His sword, scabbard, and 2 alternate straps. Lastly, a baby trunks with an alternate head and arms. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this gimmick. The faces are consistent with Tansen style, with big eyes. Some people like it, some people don't. But I don't mind. Skin tone is light cream, no shadings, matte finished. The eyes decals are tidy, face lines are sharp and clean. The teeth are decaled, not painted, so the mouth line is tidy. The open mouth is tidily painted, face gaps are non-existent. The hair sculpt is good enough, although there are some visible flashings on the bangs. Plus, some might not like the overly thick jutting out single hair. Another thing, some might have issues with the visible ears because then it's not accurate. Yes, it's not perfect, but I think these are all minor issues and not a deal breaker to me. The Super Saiyan hair is beautifully sculpted. Likeness is good. There's only minor gap on the faces. Face sculpts are identical to the base forms. The color is metallic yellow, unlike Tonson 5P's glossy yellow. The metallic finish creates natural shadings and highlights even though the gold color is solid. All the faces fit tightly on the head as do all the bangs. Nothing is easily fall off during posing. One thing to point out is that the irises are still bluish rather than greenish. This is the same body as their previous version, plus a jacket, so no significant changes here. So, Tonson 6A color scheme is identical to 5B, except the pants which is now dark grey and appear more matte. The belt and boots color is almost identical to Bandai Figuarts too. Tonson's jacket is darker blue. So, which one do you think is more accurate? Detail is as good as previous versions. Color separation remains impeccable. He doesn't have intricate detail after all. Most parts are primo colored. Only a few small sections are painted. Matte finish is even and smooth throughout. Appearance is just as beautiful as previous versions. The jacket is completely new sculpt, different than Bandai's version, primo colored in solid dark blue. The plastic is flexible to maintain posability. Again, I found no quality control issues on my copy, thankfully. Tonson's craftsmanship is remarkable for such a small company. The scabbard received a new color scheme. Paint job is tidy, on par with previous versions. Like his boots, Tonson's color now takes the cue from Figuart's BFTF trunks. The main difference is that Tonson applied some lines on the scabbard and has no buttons for the strap. Baby trunks is very well crafted. Paint job and decals are flawless. However, I currently have no idea what to do with him since he doesn't complement any figuarts in my collection. It's not like Vegeta is ever seen holding him. Perhaps Tansen would make a new Bulma next? There is an alternate head and arms provided for crying pose. The head and arms are not articulated. They have a unique shaped peg for each arm and head. Compared to 5A and B, Tansen 6A has two less faces. All 6A's expressions are present on both 5A and B. No new unique expressions from 6A, which I find quite disappointing. Face molds are identical, so obviously they're interchangeable. You can put 5A's and B's unique faces on 6A's heads. Regarding the heads, both 5A and B carry alternate bangs, while 6A doesn't, which is, again, quite disappointing. Needless to say, heads are also swappable as both version has the same body. Now let's check other trunks heads. SHF armored trunks head is tight on the neck and the peg is almost too short. However, you can force it in after dipping it in hot water since the head is rubbery. But it will have fairly limited articulation because of the thick neck. The long hair is not compatible because Thompson's head joint is too short. The maniacal fits old custom head is also tight on the neck. But like Figuart's armored trunks, you can force it in with the help of hot water dip. Figuart's BFTF trunk set is compatible with Tonson's body. The scale looks fine as well. Tonson 6A has all the hands from 5A and B, adding a special hand holding a flower, but missing both the special gestures from set 5. To make matters worse, the pants color is different in every version, so the pocket is not compatible with 6A pants. 
For your information, Tonson hasn't addressed their undersized client blast hands, which are based on Body 2.0. Tonson 6A also doesn't carry effect parts, unlike both 5A and B. Tonson's jacket has similar design to Figuart's, but unlike Figuart's jacket, Tonson glued the back part with the rest of the jacket, keeping them whole, while Figuart's glued the back part permanently on Trunk's body. So here's the summary of what the 6A gains and loses compared to 5A and B. I gotta say, in terms of fun factor, 6A is much inferior to the previous versions. This two version has the same body, so I'll mainly check how the jacket affects his upper body posability. The jacket is nicely soft and flexible. With the jacket on, the Super Saiyan head turns normally, no hindrance. The collar has big enough clearance around his hair. We'll check tilt range later. The base form head's turn range is also excellent. No difference than Super Saiyan head. Now let's remove the jacket. Popping off either arm is sufficient to slide the jacket off. Without the jacket, it's clearly visible that the head's poor tilt range is due to the sculpt, not the jacket. The base form head's stiff hair also limits the head's tilt range. No problems with arm's posability. The sleeve holes is big enough not to get in the way. Arm's reach across body is only slightly affected. Range is good. Note that if your copy has squeaky butterfly joints, oiling them might be a good idea. Joints tightness is inconsistent across body. Bicep swivel is slightly weak compared to 5A and B. But the lower elbow joint is overly tight, so be gentle when breaking in the joint. As I said before, 6A biceps are slightly weak and easier to pop off compared to 5A and B. So you can swap 6A's deltoid with the shadow arms that came with Tonson 5A as a pre-order bonus, if you have it. The reason I didn't review it before is because I got two right arms instead of left and right each. Additionally, I failed to pop off the biceps of both 5A and B because they're awfully tight. The chest is on a hinged ball joint, goes forward and backward nicely, but don't try to rotate the chest without oiling the socket. Here's how I oiled the joint. Unlike 5A and B, the 6A's tank top is not glued on the chest, so off it goes. There's a socket on the chest and back to hold the shirt in position. His belly is elastic, hence can also be easily removed to reveal the chest joint. Next, I remove the chest plate as well to drop some oil in the socket. You can also access the butterfly joint and neck joint from here if you ever need to lubricate them. Now, he's fully posable like how he's intended to be. Both the leg joints are also weak, but not to the point of wobbling. The legs are also easy to move, so you can stuff some cotton if you feel it's necessary. Backward range is acceptable. Sideways hinge is rather weak as well. Not as tight as 5A and B, but doesn't wobble either. Thigh swivel is nicely tight. But the knee joints are quite stiff, like the elbow joints. The feet is nicely tight. But the toe hinge is stuck stiff. To sum it all, 6A is not better built than 5A and B, but all the issues are fixable, so not a deal breaker. Thompson 6A is a great but expensive figure, perhaps mainly caused by its limited run and distribution channel. Tonson could have made it cheaper by packing all the new items into an upgrade kit like Bootang's kit, but they chose a full figure release instead. Therefore, I can't help but think that this time Tonson got a bit greedy without fully considering the impact. Be glad if you missed the previous version, because I think 6A will perfectly replace 5A and B and cannibalize their market, since with only 6A, you get both looks with and without the jacket. This one will perfectly complement your BFTF trunks due to his distinct look. Long hair, sleeveless jacket, no jacket, everything you need for a whole new trunks figure. All you'll be missing are the hands in pocket and taking off jacket gestures, which I think are not worth spending 70 bucks over. I guess it's time to sell my Tonson 5A and B to fund for the upcoming 6B, the battle damage version of this body, which I think will work great to complement my existing trunks collection. I think that covers all I have to say about this figure. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.